Have you ever looked at your system and thought, why does my PC feel like it's running out of memory, even though Task Manager says I have plenty free? That's because Windows ships with enterprise-level debug features that are completely unnecessary for gaming PCs and home rigs. Features like memory mirroring, hardware error correction diagnostics, and redundant memory allocations run silently in the background. These are designed for servers, not gamers. In this video, we're going to unlock and disable those hidden features. By doing so, we free up RAM, reduce memory latency, and stop Windows from performing useless background checks that can spike CPU cycles and frame times. But before we get started, here's a quick safety step. Uninstall and reinstall your chipset and memory controller drivers from your motherboard vendor to ensure you're starting fresh. And don't forget, create a restore point. We're going into hidden territory here, so it's always good to have a backup. Now let's get into the real steps. Step one, disable memory mirroring in the registry. Windows has built-in support for memory mirroring, which is mainly intended for use in enterprise environments that employ ECC, or Error Correcting Code, RAM. However, on standard systems without ECC RAM, the hooks and configurations for this feature may still be active. This can create unnecessary overhead and may waste memory on standby debug allocations that aren't needed in a typical user setup. Essentially, it can slow down your system or cause your memory to be less efficient than it could be. To disable it, follow these steps. Press Win plus R on your keyboard, type Reg Edit, and press Enter to open the Registry Editor. Navigate to the following path in the editor. Inside the Memory Management key, look for the following entries. If any of them are missing, you can create them manually as DW32-bit values. Mirror Dump, Mirror Mode, Mirror All Processes. Set the value of all three of these entries to zero. What this change does is it instructs Windows not to reserve memory for mirrored blocks, which would otherwise be a waste on non-ECC systems. It disables the hidden debug crash dump mirroring that is often unnecessary for standard users. It ensures that all of your system's memory is available for your actual workloads, such as running apps, games, or other processes, instead of being consumed by background redundant processes. Essentially, it can slow down your system or cause your memory to be less efficient than it could be. Step two, disable kernel crash memory dumps you don't need. By default, Windows allocates a certain amount of memory for system crash dumps. While these crash dumps can be useful for debugging and diagnosing system issues, for most everyday users, especially gamers, this memory reservation is simply overhead. The system reserves a portion of your RAM during normal operation, and while it doesn't consume a large amount, it still takes up valuable memory that could otherwise be used for your apps or games. Additionally, creating these dumps introduces some I.O. overhead as the system constantly prepares for the possibility of a crash in the background. If you want to disable crash dumps safely and free up some of that memory, press Win plus R on your keyboard, type sysdm.cpl and hit Enter to open the System Properties window. Once the window opens, go to the Advanced tab. Under Startup and Recovery, click on Settings. In the Write Debugging Information drop-down menu, you have a couple of options. Select Small Memory Dump 256 kilobytes if you'd still like to keep minimal crash dump information for diagnostic purposes. If you don't care about any crash dumps at all, you can set it to None. Once you've made your selection, hit Apply, then click OK to save the changes. Registry Alternative. If you prefer to go the registry route for greater control, or if you're comfortable working in the registry editor, open the registry editor, just like in step one, by pressing Win plus R, typing RegEdit, and pressing Enter to open the registry editor. Navigate to the same path as in step one. Look for Crash Dump Enabled. If it doesn't exist, you can create it as a DWORD 32-bit value. Set the value of Crash Dump Enabled to zero. 
This change will stop Windows from reserving significant chunks of RAM in case it needs to write a crash dump. On gaming systems or machines focused on performance, this is a valuable tweak that can improve memory stability and efficiency by eliminating unnecessary overhead. After applying this, you'll have more RAM available for your applications, games, and other tasks, reducing the risk of slowdowns caused by unused memory allocations. Step 3. Disable Diagnostic Policy Service – Memory Diagnostics Windows runs a background service called Diagnostic Policy Service, which is responsible for memory diagnostic tasks and system performance logging. While it sounds harmless, this service constantly pulls hardware for health reports, adding CPU cycles, and sometimes interfering with RAM heavy workloads. To turn it off safely, Method 1, Services Manager. Press Win plus R. Type services.msc and press Enter. Scroll down to Diagnostic Policy Service. Right-click, Properties. Change startup type to disabled. Hit stop if it's running, then apply. Method 2. Command prompt. Open command prompt as administrator and run. This ensures Windows isn't wasting cycles doing memory diagnostic checks in the background. For normal users, this feature is completely unnecessary. Step 4. Clean standby memory with RAM map or ISLC. Even after disabling mirrors and diagnostics, Windows likes to cache data aggressively in standby memory. Normally, this isn't bad, but if you're gaming, it can create stutters when Windows suddenly flushes or repurposes cached blocks. To fix this, option A, RAM map. Download RAM map from Microsoft Sys Internals Run it as administrator. Go to the empty menu and choose empty standby list. Do this whenever you notice memory usage spiking unnecessarily. Option B, ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Download ISLC by Wagnar Soft. Set it up to automatically clean standby memory when free memory drops below a certain threshold. Enable Start with Windows for convenience. This keeps RAM usage smooth and ensures games don't stutter when Windows randomly flushes caches. Step 5. Optimize Page File and Disable Prefetcher Diagnostics The last hidden memory overhead comes from Windows prefetching and page file monitoring. Windows often pre-allocates memory for predictive caching, but in modern SSD or NVMe setups, this just creates unnecessary latency. Adjust the page file. Press Win plus R, type sysdm.cpl, and press Enter. Go to Advanced, Performance, Settings, Advanced. Under Virtual Memory, click Change. Either set a fixed size page file, for example, 4096 megabytes min by 4096 megabytes max, or disable it if you have 32 gigabytes of RAM or more. Disable Prefetcher Diagnostics via the registry. Go to Locate Enable Superfetch and Enable Prefetcher. Set both to zero. This prevents Windows from wasting memory on predictive I.O. tasks that modern SSDs don't benefit from. And that's it. You've now disabled Windows hidden memory mirroring and debugging features that were eating RAM and adding latency behind the scenes. To recap, disabled memory mirroring in the registry, turned off crash dump memory overhead, stopped diagnostic policy service from wasting cycles, cleaned standby memory with RAM map or ISLC, tuned the page file and disabled outdated prefetchers. These aren't gimmicks. These are real, hidden Windows features that serve enterprise or debugging scenarios, not your gaming rig. By stripping them out, you free up RAM, lower CPU usage, and smooth out frame times. If you found this helpful, make sure to apply these tweaks step by step. Don't just skip around, every step compounds the gains.